when you're 18 years old most likely your dad's old car is going to be your new daily driver and looking at the current state of the indian market he's going to be the proud owner of something like this this over here is the tata punch and today we want to find out if this thing can give you that punch in your teenage years let's find out When you're 18 years old, you want a car that stands out from the crowd and the Punch is definitely one of those cars. I think so in its segment, it's the second best looking car coming only second to the Renault Kyger. And that's because probably this particular spec of the Punch is not my favorite. It has quite a lot of chrome bits and a lot of accessories which are really unnecessary and kind of destroy the design in my opinion. And it's 2022, who even uses side window deflectors nowadays? Totally unnecessary. Now this two-tone paint looks kind of good, but I think so, if the roof would have been black, it would have looked much more slick. And moreover, I think so, the punch is just a very good design in general, and without all of these accessories, it would have looked really, really nice. The punch comes in loads of different colors and various different contrast packs. Choose it wisely and trust us, this thing actually looks quite nice. The front fascia of the punch is designed like the Harrier SUV. And it being a crossover, the punch gets body cladding all around and a higher ground clearance. Now yes, don't get me wrong. The punch isn't a beautifully crafted Italian supercar, but in the current marketplace, it looks much better than some of the other options out there. Oh, and don't be fooled by this opening. Being the car enthusiast I am, I initially thought it was the opening for the airbox, but then I found out it was for the horn. Come on Tata, that would have been so cool. Now, as a teenager, you want to have a dashing interior to impress your friends and especially your crush. So, this thing ticks quite a lot of those boxes. First off, you have a really nice looking flat bottom steering wheel. You have some good speakers. You have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto from this Harman 7-inch infotainment system. You have driving mode so that you can impress some of your car enthusiast friends. And you have a semi-digital instrument cluster. Overall, a very nice interior, a little plasticky in some areas, but the design, the layout, everything is very good. It's very easy to use. And for some reason, this 7-inch Harman system is much better to use than the one we previously experienced in the Tiago and both of the Altrozes. So, big thumbs up from me. Now, being the responsible 18-year-old you are, you will pick up your drunk 21-year-old friends sometimes. And sometimes drinking is dangerous, so they will start puking. And once that happens, how is the rear seat of the Tata Punch? Well, first of all, the windows kind of go fully down. So that's a big plus point because then your friend can take his head completely out of the car and puke on the road, which will not make your car dirty. Moreover, the back seat is quite spacious. You have loads of leg room, loads of head room, and yeah, a pretty good experience over here in the back. Now, weirdly, Tata has two subcompact SUVs in under 4 meters long. One is the Punch over here, the other is the Nexon. And the difference between the two is actually not a lot. The Punch over there is only 100 mm uh, shorter in terms of length and width. And when it comes to wheelbase, the Nexon is only 50 mm longer. So, not a big difference. And if you start counting the boot space, well, the Punch actually has more boot space than the bigger brother, which is the Nexon. 366 liters compared to 350. Now, if you ask me, the price difference between the both is not worth it at all. And I take the Tata Punch over the Nexon all day long. Being a teenager, one of the most important things in a car for you is speed. And let's see today if the Tata Punch can actually be a speed demon. So we've got over here a draggy. As you can see, this is the draggy. And we're going to test the 0 to 100 kilometers an hour acceleration of the punch. So turn the AC off. Yep. Put it in first. Hold the handbrake. Give it a little bit of revs. And launch it. That's first.
second we're at 60 already that's bounced off the rev limiter that's a hundred this is a slight downhill that's 110 and break Woof. that was spicy okay so it did 0 to 100 in 13 seconds pretty respectable if you consider that the punch has a 1.2 liter naturally aspirated three cylinder engine producing around 85 bhp yeah so not too bad and that was not the most aggressive launch ever nor was i completely pushing the car granted that it was a slight downhill but i think so a pretty respectable figure Now, if you ask me, the Tata Punch is one of the coolest cars you can get as a teenager, especially if it's a pass down from your father, because it has almost everything that you want when you're 18 years old. It's decently fast. It's not the fastest thing out there, of course. It looks good. It has a good interior. It gives you great fuel economy and well, it's going to be cheap to maintain because it's a Tata and everything that you want will be found in India in terms of spare service, whatever you need. So. A pretty good option when you're 18 years old and even if you're an uncle or an auntie this is a great family car for your family because well as I just proved it's as practical as the Tata Nexon it has great amount of uh, boot space great amount of cabin space it has everything that you need so do check out the Tata Punch thank you so much for watching this video this is our first video of 2023 we have some epic content coming for you guys so stay tuned for the channel so subscribe and let's hit 100,000 subscribers this year